I'm sorry, Alice. Your dad's getting put down. Oh my God, this nigga is. Look how he's walking to her room. Where's the door? Damn! God! Alice, watch out, bro. We don't have time for this. Damn! Okay. What the fuck? It's destroying itself. No, 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 no. Don't hit him back, bro. Don't hit him back. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, no, leave him alone. Is he still taking that? Oh. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Immediately goes back to smoking, bro. This guy needs help. Got this bland ass spaghetti. They got a thunderstorm, bro. It's about to go down tonight, but I already know. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Serve dinner. Turn on the light. Bro, y'all know what that means. If it's a thunderstorm, shit is about to go down. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Alice, yeah, just eat your food, bro. Don't Joke. worry about guys. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. Nigga, they gotta let me knock his ass out. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. First of all, stop moving around. For Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. She really stopped moving around? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Why is he always crashing out? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. She gotta run to her room. My fault your fucking mother took off. He's about to start swinging. She gotta run to the room. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you're really scared. Alice, you gotta run to the room. She's this nigga about to start swinging. Not a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Nigga, what? Daddy knows. It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! He's getting put down. He's getting put down. He's getting put down. That's it. That's all we needed to see, bro. Bro, oh, let me move. You stay there. Bro, let, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Worse than last time? Nigga, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Please, God, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Come on, come on. Let me move. Let me move. Come on, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. We out, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out. Protect Alice, nigga. You know what I'm getting that fucking gun. Reason with Todd, nigga. Reason with Todd, nigga. Fuck that. 
going upstairs. I'm grabbing that gun. Nigga, I'm grabbing that gun. We don't got time for reasoning. He's already doing hardcore drugs, bro. He's not reasoning. Yeah, we getting that, we getting that gun, nigga. I'm sorry, Alice. Your dad's getting put down. Oh my God, this nigga is. Look how he's walking to her room. Where's the door? Bro, you, he's getting put down. Down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order. No, I want you to leave her alone. <sighs> you want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? Bro, just give me the you option. Me? Is that it? Just give me the option. You gonna shoot a human? This bitch. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. How do you drop the gun? Oh, we got like it. We got like it. Shit. All right, we locked, we locked, we locked. Watch out, Kara! Bitch! <laughs> Fuck! Damn, Kara! Come here, bitch. Oh, we blocked it. And we moved to the side. I'm bleeding. We're not rocking, we're not rocking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Kara. Get off me. Get off me, bitch. Damn. God. Alice, watch out, bro. We don't have time for this. Shit. Damn, I'm getting fucked up. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. Cut his ass. That's all we need. Alice, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't have to be like this. He's wildin'. It's all him. Damn, we got fucked up. I'm sorry, man. Oh yeah, we run, we run, we gotta go. We run, we gotta go. Can I? I can't grab anything. Connor's about to be looking for us. God damn, these were all the options. Alice kills Todd. Alice could have killed Todd. What the fuck, Alice? Alice, could, that's tough. I didn't even know that was an option. Hey, this is the night when everybody just loses it. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about all I know how this shit goes, man. When it starts raining like this, you need something bad about to happen. Make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. All oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Something's about to happen. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. The 
theme is too dark, bro. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Oh, this nigga, bro. I see, man, fuck this nigga. Carl, I fuck with you, but we gotta know. No, I gotta bring Carl. That's his son. Actually, should I bring Carl or should I not bring Carl, bro? Nigga, he can wheel himself in the room, bro. I gotta go handle business. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. All right, Leo. I gotta warn you, bro. I'm gonna Look, give you I one warning. The police, you should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. We don't, don't have time for this. Not good enough for you. We don't have time Not for this. Perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special, Whoa. anyway, huh? Where's it got that I don't leave him alone? Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus. Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend myself? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it. I'm trusting Leo. Carl. Stop I'm trusting it. Carl. To fight back, you fucking bitch. Only because I fuck with Carl, bro. Don't defend yourself. Don't hit him back, bro. Don't hit him back. Don't hit him back. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot you're not. This nigga is about to hit him back. Carl, before this happens, bro, I'm trying. I didn't want to hit your son, bro. Real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm going to destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And just nobody's endure, going to give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Only because I fuck a car, bro. I'm not trying to kill cars, son. In front of him. Carl, no. Carl. He was. Roger was ashamed. Leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't Carl. leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. As soon as he dies, I'm killing his son, bro. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? This nigga shot me with no hesitation? Mistook Marcus for the aggressor? You're telling me if I would have saved Marcus? If I would have killed his son, he would have lived? Fuck. Alright, well, he's gone, so we gotta... How long were you in the attic? He's not about to answer nothing. Why don't you even try to run away? Where is he going to run to? Say something, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. All right, put me in, coach. 
It's my time to shine. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? All right, I I'm can a, try questioning it. I'm hoping self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? You're gonna put him down regardless, yeah, bro. I'ma just help him self destruct. Damn, bro. We gotta stress him out. Let's just analyze first, but analyze. Damn, this nigga is in horrible shape. 2030. He ripped his tracker out. Damn, they beating the fuck out of him. What is that? He was ashing on his arm? Human niggas gotta go, I ain't gonna lie. You're damaged. He was ashing on his arms. Did he beat you? Alright, we gotta stress him I out. Detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling. Like fear. In humans. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is I don't that think, what you want? I don't think he cares. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Gonna do to me. I ain't gonna lie, you're coke, buddy. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. I, I can't lie to him, they man. Have I can't no lie to him. If they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell him you found me? It wasn't my choice, Why man. You just have left me there. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. That's heartbreaking, man. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. They're going to kill him regardless, bro. Like, I don't know. This is tough. They're going to kill him regardless. Pressure... Nigga, fuck it. Probe his memory, nigga. You leave me no choice. Eh. All three at the same time? Alright. R2. Circle. And square. It's memory. I know what happened. I can't. I can, there's nothing I can do. You'll go back. 
back to cyber life to be disassembled. I'm trying to help him crash out so he can Let's at least die right here. Nigga. I can't do anything else for him. Fuck! My fault, bro. I thought I was helping you. Damn! Okay. What the fuck? It's doing? destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Nah, we're not interviewing. They were gonna do him dirty regardless, bro. This at least gives him. Oh shit! Damn, they did this to my man, bro. There's no way to save him, bro. There's no way. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, 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 damn. This car. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <gasps> All right. You better tell her to get off. End the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Shelter? Are we asking him for shelter? I'm about to say this nigga don't give a fuck about us. Oh hell no, she's cold. Okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Damn, Alice, my fault, my fault. I didn't know it was gonna be raining like this, though. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. Fine, shelter, let's see. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. All right, we just need to get a little bit more warmer. Is this nigga knocked out? Is there clothes in any of these things? Yeah, this nigga about to get robbed, I ain't gonna lie. Program complete. Jug! About to get jug. Try close for Alice. Yeah, we're snapping those, her. What are you doing? Alice. Alice, shut we need to Alice. Alice. We already killed this nigga. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Like, do you want him to stay cold? I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. We gotta get you warm. Nah, taking the hat. That's excessive, bro. She's nice. This 
this nigga is knocked the fuck out. Alright, Alice. Stop fucking crying and put your clothes on, bro. Yeah, we gotta get out before this nigga wakes up. We gotta get out before he wakes up. We gotta get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. See, he's chilling, bro. I don't understand why y'all stressing. So cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Just gonna rob this nigga. The thing is, Connor's gonna come back to the crib. All right, bro. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck Look, it, fuck the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Nigga. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? This is a convenience store, Guess lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Yeah, we're still in that cash, nigga. That's how that should go. You're getting robbed, buddy. No. Wait outside for me. Good shit. I'll just be two minutes. Good shit. Wait outside. Good shit, good shit. We don't Why? want Alice please. to see. Alice, Alice just, just go outside, please. Doing it in front of Alice is so crazy, but we need a place to stay, bro. Just do what I say and everything will be all right. Just hand me the money, bro. Take the cash from the register. Put it on the counter. Come on. No word. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you done? Go ahead. Leaving would have been crazy, bro. We're already here. We might as well stay for it. Thank God we didn't leave. All right, come on. Just hand me the money so I can go home. That's it. Open the register. That's it. We're gone. Just like that.
It's nothing personal, man. It's nothing personal. Oh, we can shoplift too. Alright, yeah. Come on, Alice. Come on, Alice. Here we go. Fuck! I thought he was about to snitch. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? Why would you tell her? Lie, lie. I just asked the cashier for a few dollars. She's too young, but she doesn't need to know everything. Eastern Motel. All right, we're going to the motel. We just need a place to stay, man. That's only forty dollars for the night. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. All right, just give him the forty. Just need your name and address. See your driver's license. Oh shit, I don't have it on me. Well, we we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Perfect, perfect. W W W. Have we gotta stay night. calm and collected, bro. Can I come on, Alice? See, Alice, this is way better than being outside in the rain, bro. Yes, sir. We got shelter for tonight. All right. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. That's all that matters, Alice. 228. I gotta be on the second floor. Ooh. Thank God we didn't leave when the dude ran into the store, bro. Did it say 228 or 28? Good shit. Look at the nice crib for today. Because we don't know how long we're about to be on the run, bro. So we got to take advantage of these small wins. See? That's tough. Clothes. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I got no jacket or hoodie or anything like that. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Damn, they don't have a dryer. Or the air dryer, I guess. Oh, just, oh, that's tough. That's tough. What was that? Comfort, Alice. All right, it's gonna be okay, Alice. Don't even worry. This is better than being in that abusive household, bro. Why are you so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. 
that's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Oh, she's too young to be thinking about all this, man. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Yeah, we gotta tell her what she I wants promise. to hear. Fuck. Will we be together forever? I hope. Forever. This is tough, man. This is tough. This is tough. I just stop recording. I sleep now. All right, might have to stop recording soon. My camera about to run out of battery. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? So far, Marcus is free. No, Mar what happened? Marcus got shot. Marcus got shot. Connor is. Oh yeah, we're gonna sleep next to Alice. Make sure everything's okay. All right. Yeah, sleeping in the chair is so crazy, bro. A lot of progress man made a lot of progress stayed in an abandoned car nigga hell no this is Marcus they left me to die in this joint Out with no hesitation, bro. Damn. Everything failure, bro. What? My heart. Everything is in low power mode. What else is there? Both eyes. The hearing is cooked. Alright, come on. Get up, get up, Marcus, get up. Nah, they did this nigga so dirty, bruh. And then you want him to come back and be peaceful? Like, bruh, hell nah. As soon as we get back to Merc and everybody. We need those, we need those, we need those. Are they compatible? Oh, they're compatible, it's compatible. Bruh. Robot junkyard, golly. Look how they treat us. All right, we gotta take it. The 
chess piece. That joint is in low power mode, bro. See how it's blinking red? Alright, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. How did this even happen, bro? One minute we're Ricardo, the next minute we're. This guy is fucking leaning. I ain't gonna lie, the human niggas, they gotta pay. Look at this shit. Like, how do you even explain this? Where are you going? Bitch. We need some eyes and we need some ears. Damn. Look at this dude that's crawling. Compatible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, bro, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. She wasn't gonna use it though, that's the thing, like I'm helping her out. Can I give her mine? Damn, I feel so bad, bro. Oh, Compatible? Thank God. Alright, bro. Jeez, that was tough the way everything just came back. All right. Yeah, we need this eye. This dude looked just like him. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, I think we're good, bro. Climb to the slope. Climb the slope. This it is. What the fuck is that? Oh. Nah, at that angle it looked so wild. Shit. Not all the way back to the bottom. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Damn, Marcus! Alright, we're out, we're out, we're out. Yeesh.
about to say, can we? I'm about to, yeah, I'm literally about to say, can we take that shit out? Yeah, you gotta cut that off. Rip that shit off. Uh. We need some clothes. Damn, bro. But the eye shit, that's gonna look tough. Hmm. I don't know what to do, man. Because if I make the robot niggas aggressive, I think it might fuck up. Uh... Yeah, we gotta make him. We gotta make him tough. Sorry, I had to kill Saudi. I forgot about that. Damn, man. Hello, Amanda. Connor. To see you. Oh, my screen turned off. Finding that deviant was far from easy. You showed great skill in your investigation. But you knew deviants could be unstable. You should have been more cautious. Bitch. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? I don't trust her. It showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. I can't let her show that I'm aware. I can't well, show her that I'm aware. Die. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises I fuck with him, I fuck with him, but I got a, I got a cap. Difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. I gotta tell her what she wants to hear. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. That's a lot of trust. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. See you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. What the fuck? Uh, I can't go in the office? Cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Damn, so small. This stuff. isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? 
I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Damn. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. Is your partner. Damn. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prank. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Damn. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Why does he hand in his badge? If he hates them so much, why does he... Damn, damn, bro. Damn, 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 damn. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. Yeah, this nigga, he clearly don't fuck with us, bro. There's no point even trying to have conversation. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. We're partners, buddy. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. This nigga. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. All right, bro. You better stop tolerating this disrespect, bro. If y'all niggas don't want to be cool with us, that's fine. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Nigga, just tell me the name. Sumo. I call him Sumo. It's critical information, man. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. All right, that might be a little You weird. listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. I don't want to do the anti those hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Cool. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Mm. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Yikes. Oh. All right, let's get to work. Missing. Damn. Is that Kara? Kara. Two hundred and forty three files. Kara dates back nine months. Cara. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Car, I think I think they're talking about car. All right, yeah. Now we gotta leave before they start asking for IDs. Alice, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up.
That's a good idea. We got better rest. Never mind. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. But we're safe, man. We're safe. Oh shit. Are you tired? Early. You should try to get some more sleep. I'm not tired anymore. You must be starving. You should take a bath and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. Bruh, where are we about to get food at though? Oh, let's go. You gotta cut that out. Her hair? Mm, I kind of fuck with the low cut. Options, options. Let's see the black and white. You got white. White is hard, but hold on. Okay, let's just go back. Yeah. Yeah, the black the black looks kind of hard. I can't even lie. All right. Ugh. Yeah, the black looks sweet. All right, Alice. You're pretty. You like that? Hell yeah. You really look like a human now. What is that supposed to mean? Alright, let's see what they're trying to talk about. Police outside. Alright, what else is there? Let's grab the gun, put the gun back in our pockets. Oh, the news. We gotta see if Connors is. Connor is chasing us. They got an android zoo. The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Court Town. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News. I'm Josh Douglas. We're cooked. We're cooked. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. We're finished. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. We're gonna figure it out, but don't worry. You're looking for us now. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Contact Android. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't That'd be comforting, man. Alice, but we can decide the future. Hmm. We're gonna pull through. And soon, all this will just be a bad memory. I fuck with the black hair. The black hair looks sweet. I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of iffy about it in the beginning. But it's grown on me. Finished getting ready. 
I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Oh my god. We need to get her out of here now. We're about to start asking for IDs. There's no time. Turn the fuck back around. Turn the fuck back around. Oh, fuck. That's Connor. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. Oh, you see fuck. anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. I knew it. This nigga snitched fast. That's why I shouldn't have, that's what I was that's why I was scared of robbing him. Fuck, I literally said in the beginning, Connor's gonna be looking, bro. Thank you. Ben, yeah, still at the motel. Send some uniforms and cordon off the area. I'm heading to its room. Heading to his room now. We gotta buy her some time. Connor's not fucking around. We gotta buy her some time, man. You wait in the car. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. Who the fuck is he All talking to? All I want to? is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You wanna see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. What the fuck is up with Hank? Alright, I actually don't know how Cara is about to escape this. Please tell me she got out the window. Because if she... Why did I do that though? Why? I should have just stayed in the car. I should have stayed in the car. I should have just stayed in the car. I should have just stayed in the car. I should have stayed in the car. I should have stayed in the car. Please tell me to escape. Please tell me to escape. Please tell me. Please tell me. It's gone. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. Sneak past the cops. Fuck. Hey, what is he? Danger level. You gotta make it down here. I knew it. This nigga Connor's try hardy. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Bro, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Let's sit back down. Fuck! Come on. Quick, call it in. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Oh my god! No! I gotta buy them time. I gotta buy them time. I gotta buy them time, bro. Fuck! Hold on. Connor, why are you tryharding, bro? They're over there. And why are they snitching so readily? Don't make it. Just go, 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 go. Car, go. I'm trying to help you, car, go. 
Hurry up, hurry up and leave. If he jumps across oh, he's try already. That's insane. I had to, bro. I had to, I had to, I had to. Oh my god, that's fucked. I had to, man. I had to. I had to. Like, I had to. There was nothing else I could do. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, we got Marcus. The first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comments. All right, I ain't gonna lie. This is like a good. It's a, this is a good spot to stop. To stop. And we're just gonna come back next time. All right, y'all. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment for another one you want to see next, man. This actually is going pretty well. That Connor shit scared me though. I ain't gonna lie. Had me stressing.